Uh, Hugh Foster, I've been with Trust Power for three years um, and I'm an operator maintainer at the station. You tend to have your core trade, either mechanical fitter or electrician. I'm a mechanical fitter. And then the operator side of it is doing anything involved with operating the station, be it um, switching or earthing or starting and stopping the machines, although that's mostly done remotely from Tauranga, from our operation centre. Um, and the maintainer side is the, any maintenance to do with the day-to-day -day, um, keeping the plant running. Um, repairs that are necessary, sometimes at major pull-downs and overhauls. The Canterbury team works from Coleridge as our sort of, uh, most northern station and home base, uh, High Bank, which is the south side of the Rakaia River, and Montalto, which is at the back of Mayfield. And we also do uh, a little bit of work at a poor power station near Fairley, which uh, we have the maintenance contract for, for a poor water. That was the first big government uh, power scheme and uh, the building's it's 100 years old, it's got uh, a nice feel about it and a uh, you know, sense of permanence about it. I think also the locality, you know, it was built in the middle of a riverbed where it was windswept and not a tree around and they still managed to successfully put it together, commission it and uh, supply power to Christchurch. It's only personal opinion, I would rate the older the station, the, the the more I enjoy them. The more modern they are, the, the cost-saving things tend to come into them and they're built purely to do the job but at the, the minimum cost possible so they tend to not have a lot of spare space, tend to be a lot noisier and uh, um, yeah, not as nice a feel about them. Some winters you know you can get two or three snowfalls which can make getting to the station a challenge although we're pretty lucky here with Tar Sealed Road, it's not such an issue for us. Probably the catchment operator at the head of the lake has a far tougher time because you know, he'll get snow multiple times during the winter and has to be able to get his machine out to the diversions any time, day or night. Invariably when, when it's all going wrong and the weather's uh, bad is when he needs to be at work and it frequently happens at night. You know, he'll be often kicking up every two or three hours at night to go and check things and um, may have to go and push shingle around or um, turn the water out. So long time periods away from home and family and uh, his accommodation is a very small room in the corner of the dozer shed with a heated toilet. And uh, yeah, he'll be dealing with snow a lot of times during the year, but he always seems to take it in good humour and uh, the more challenging it is, the more he seems to enjoy it.